all right now before anybody calls me like i'm just hopping on the bag wagon or if i'm just a hypocrite or something i want to point this out guys i think when i did my 2016 comic book movies video with golden sucks uh no shame i'm gonna put a plug down a uh, link in the description i said this movie wasn't gonna be great i told you that visually it's gonna be really good it's gonna be like man of steel but story-wise it's just gonna have some plot holes and it's just not gonna make sense at all and you know what i was right and, and you know I, I i i didn't want to be right i think i said in the in the video too like that was what two like four three months ago i want to say when i made the video and i told you i did not want to be right but you know, unfortunately, I, I was. Um, where to start? Well, before I want to start, everybody's entitled to their own opinion. If you don't like my opinion, um, I, you're you're more than happy to share your opinion in the, the comments below. If you guys watch the movie, please let me know what you think. I watched the movie twice. I saw it on March 24th, a day before I had an advanced screening. So I watched it twice. I watched it the 24th and I watched it yesterday. So I watched it two times. The second time, I tried to go in there a little more optimistic, and it still fails to deliver for me. Um, I guess before I get into the bads and good things about this movie, I just want to say about like the movie in general is average. I'm neutral. It's more. It's it's not bad by all means. It's you. It's a fun movie to watch, but it's just some things which I'll talk into in the video that don't really make sense, and it's just like what. You know, you get that, that question, like, over and over and over in your head when you're watching this movie. So, I give it, like, a so if you want just, like, a quick little, like, percentage or whatever, I give it a 72 out of 100. And I stick to that percentage the second I walked out of the theater on the 24th. You know, my brothers asked me, you know, how good do you think the movie was? And then my brother said, like, oh, uh, 89. And then my other one said, like, a, you know, like, a 90 or something. And I said 72. And they all looked at me crazy, but... You know, everyone's entitled to their own opinion. If you don't agree with me, leave your thoughts in the comments below. I love to read them. Anyways, um, like I said, the movies. Eh, but before I go, you know, um, spoiler alert. I will go into spoilers. I did not go into spoilers with my Daredevil, but it's hard for me to say that it's not a good movie without going into spoilers. So there will be spoilers in this uh, review. So I guess what I'll say is I'll kind of just go by like a breakdown of the whole movie and say like what actually have him from beginning to the end so basically i'm just gonna talk you through the whole movie again if you didn't see the movie you know click away you know i already give you my my uh, percentage so if you want to know why i got it i get to that then stick around but there is spoilers all right so one thing i really did like is the um, the first couple of minutes well eh, not actually i just probably take that back all right the movie opens out with the funeral scene obviously of bruce wayne's parents okay blah blah blah. you know we all know bruce wayne's parents get gunned down he becomes a batman blah blah blah. we didn't really need that but okay it wasn't it wasn't too long so i give it credit you know it it only went by like like five minutes or something so i, I give it that credit anyways after that scene it goes on to uh bruce wayne's perspective of um man of steel event the day metropolis uh was introduced to Superman, you know, how he's fighting Zod through the whole metropolis. And I really liked that scene. I thought, you know, you see Bruce Wayne just running through the streets. He's, he has all, like, the courage to run into an alien fight. You can see in the trailers he's running through all those smoke and stuff. That was a really good scene. It was visually really good. You know, the smoke was perfect. Just everything about it. And then um, when it saves the little girl and then, like, um, he says, like, oh, wait, where's your mommy? And then she points off to the busted up building. And then, like, you can just see him. Like, he hugs a girl, and then he's just super pissed off. You saw it in the trailer, too. Like, I'm going to reference the trailer a lot. Because if you watch trailer number two, that's basically the whole uh, movie. Okay, now going back to, um, just a little quick side note. Going back to uh, the scene where it's uh, his, like, origin. I didn't like the way they kind of did it. I thought it was really good. But, like, it opens up. Um, with the funeral scene, and then Bruce Wayne's running in the forest, he's trying to get away, and then it, it cuts back to a flashback of of the actual, like, gunning down. I thought that was okay, but the one thing I did not like is when he falls into this hole, and then, like, a bunch of bats fly in, and they make, like, a tornado around him, and then he just starts levitating upwards, like, like, okay, you know what I mean? Like, doesn't really make any sense, but, like, he's literally flying with the bats. It's kind of stupid. Like, I, I kind of, like, kind of chuckled a little bit in the theater. It was kind of funny, but anyways, going back to, um, 
to the scene where he's running in with the girl. Anyways, yeah, that scene where it shows Bruce Wayne's perspective on the incident, it was fantastic. I thought that was one of the greatest things. I think the greatest thing about this movie was actually Ben Affleck's portrayal of Batman. You know, everybody hated him when they um, announced it. And I was one of the few people that actually said, you know what, this is going to be the best Batman on screen. And guess what? I wasn't right. You know, I just, I'm just i just calling all the right shots here, guys, about this movie. Ben Affleck was the best Batman we've seen on screen. I don't care what you say about Christian Bale. In my opinion, he did not do the character justice. You know what I mean? But Ben Affleck just nailed it. He was gritty. He was old. He was pissed off. And he just he, he pulled the playboy. The, the Playboy persona just so perfectly, too. That was just awesome, guys. I can't wait to see a standalone film. Okay, after we get the scene of um, the him looking to his perspective of the Man of Steel incident, it basically goes 18 months into the future, which is supposed to be present time, which doesn't really make any sense because, I don't know, the movie came out three years ago, Man of Steel. So it's not really, it's not going to be like, you know, um, like real time because marvel does it by real time so it's not really real time with dc as far as i can tell but you know it's whatever and then it opens up to this weird scene like the scene that they, they really didn't really like it's it's because in the trailers they make it seem like the reason why he's in court is because of the menace incident but not really he's in court because of the next scene basically um they think that he killed a bunch of, like, you know, these African warlords and stuff like that. It's kind of dumb. But, like, I, I this, you know, like, the movie, the, I think, like, the first hour and a half is extremely, extremely boring. I mean, it's literally just talking and talking. And then even when there's Superman in there, he's either walking, sl- flying really slow, or, you know, talking with Lois Lane. It's just so boring, you know. And I get it, you know, it's just set up, and, you know, even with um, Bruce Wayne, it's, it, like, it's still just talking with him and Alfred, you know, going through their problems with uh, Superman. It's just so boring, the first hour and a half. And I think the worst part about the movie is just it's editing. The way they edit the movie and the, and the pacing, it's so bad. Like, um, like, like, let's get an example, like, he's, like, one shot, and then, and then it cuts off to a different scene where you're, like, in Africa. And then you cut off quickly to a court scene. And then it goes back to a flashback to Africa. And then it goes to Bruce Wayne. And then it goes back to Super... Like, it's just... The way they, like, they sh- like they told the story, it was bad. You know, it's it's really hard to explain it. But you gotta kind of need to watch the movie. And then you'll understand. But um, that's why I'm trying to say, like, this review is kind of for the people that already watched the movie. It's a lot harder to... It's a lot easier to explain. But, that, like, if you... I don't know, just watch it and you'll understand what I'm talking about, but the pacing and the editing is so bad. Like, I, like the first hour and a half is extremely slow, and then the second hour and a half, it's just, like, super fast. Like, it, it, things move too quickly, in my opinion. But it's, like, super, super boring. Like, really boring, you know? The only good things were, like, the small little, like, Flash and um, the, it's the Cyborg and Aquaman and, you know, the teaser, the cameos. And I thought the first cameo of Flash was actually really dumb because I'll explain it right now, but... Basically, Bruce Wayne, like, long story short, Bruce Wayne goes to the uh, this um, party that Lex Luthor's having. Again, like, the trailer, too, like, that little first scene. That's his party. Um, he gets this device to hack into their, um, Lex's computer so he can find kryptonite. And then Wonder Woman finds it, and then blah, blah, blah. They give it, she gives it back to him. Like, that's another stupid part. Like, it cuts to, a, like, a month later or something like that. Like, just like, like that, without you even noticing. Well, whatever. And then, um... One woman gives him back, and then he's trying to decrypt it at the back cave, and then like he, and then it cuts to a scene of like him like just like it's also in the trailer like the nightmare Batman scene is that scene like it just cuts to that it doesn't even like a fl- it doesn't even have like a flashback transition or anything it's just it just cuts to it, and he's just he's just literally gunning down all these people and then he's like snapping dudes necks and he's like cracking bones it's like super hardcore it's like whoa 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 what's going on, and then he gets knocked out. And Superman comes in, like, underground where, like, Batman's all chained up. You see in the trailer also. And then Superman basically, like, rips his heart out or something. And it was, was kind of dumb. And then and then Bruce Wayne wakes up. And, he, like, it's, like, weird because then there's, there's, like, a tornado inside the Batcave. And then, like, you see Flash. Like, I already know how the... Then, like, the Flash is out there. He's basically warning Bruce Wayne of the future. Like, that whole nightmare scene, it was actually the future, which is, like, okay. And he was basically saying, you know, Lois is the key to everything, you know, because Superman's gone rogue. And then it was the, the dumb thing was Bruce Wayne wakes up again. Like, like that was a dream. You know, like it doesn't it doesn't make sense. You know, I get how um Flash comes back, but how can the Flash come back and then give him those memories or not really memories, those 
those visions of the future. Like, how does that even work? And why did Bruce Wayne have to wake up three times or four, whatever the hell it was, to get that? You know what I mean? Like, it was just, the, the editing is so bad in this movie. You don't even know what's, you don't even know what's the flashback and what's just a different scene or what's, like, just in continuity. You know what I mean? It's just, ah, man, like, it's a very disappointing movie in general. Like, I really wish they they did it really good. And now I'm extremely worried for uh, Justice League. You know, it sucks. But, you know, before I end this video, let me just go to the good things in the movie, guys. Like, oh, no, before I... Hold on, hold on. Another bad thing is Doomsday. You know what I mean? I had some hope they were going to fix him. But, nope. He just literally looks like a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. You know, with a little more fat. The CGI of Doomsday was not that good. And... This is a major spoiler alert, guys. If you didn't watch the ending, um, they kill off Superman, okay, guys? And, you know, I you can see him kind of, like, not dead in the, the end. Like, he faces death. But but they also say that Clark Kent is dead. So when they, he does come back in Justice League, there is no Clark Kent. It's just Superman, which I think is, isn't really a good idea because you need, you need Clark Kent's humanity, you know, to keep Superman in check. You know what I mean? Because then Superman will just get rogue. You know, you need Clark Kent. So, you know, when they kill off Clark Kent and Superman, you know, it's not a wise choice. You know what I mean? But, I don't know. Some good things, like I said, were Ben Affleck's Batman. I thought that was really good. Uh, Gal Gadot's uh, Wonder Woman was fantastic, actually. I never had a problem with Henry Cavill's Superman. I thought, honestly, it was the best Superman we, we have on screen. Um, I guess another good... Yeah, but I guess the fight scene with him, a uh, Batman v Superman, like it's literally only like fifteen minutes. You know, that's another bad thing, but it was pretty cool. So you know, your perspective. It's literally only like fifteen minutes. Another bad thing about this movie is that like the Holy Trinity, like the Wonder Woman, Superman, and the Batman. It this it's it's lack of awe. You know what I mean? Like, because when you think of Justice League, they're all like friends, but this one they barely even know each other, and they have to you know team up to fight against Doomsday. Like. And then the Doomsday fight was just so bad. Like you, you, you think Hawkeye is useless, you know, like in the Avengers, but Super Batman is extremely useless. He literally hides underneath a rock the whole damn time, and he's running away. And you know, granted, like he, he brings him back to Gotham to get the Kryptonite, but like that's it. Like he literally hides behind a rock and runs away. And god damn, man, he really screwed up the damn movie, man. You know, all in all, like. It's a fun movie. Like, visually, it's a really cool movie. If you want to see, like, Batman, Wonder Woman, and Superman all in the same movie, it's really it's really good. It's really... I really... I wouldn't say I like... I like the movie, you know? I it's, it's fun to watch, but the more you think about it, like, the more you just realize, like, you know, this, this movie's not that good, you know? Like, I still stick by my 72 out of 100 um, percentage, you know? if Like I said, you guys have any thoughts, leave them in the comments below. I love to read them. Um... Uh, those are just my quick thoughts of the movie, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll check you guys out later.